Roswell Flight Test Crew here. Click subscribe now before you forget or change your mind. The other night, we sat down with David and Sarah O'Neill over at that drone show, and they had some big news for us. Check it out. All right, thanks for having us back on the show again. Now, Sarah and I have been talking about a lot of stuff about that people like for drones, and what they like the most about drones sometimes is winning a drone. And we love having contests on the show. I mean, a lot of people have them, and they're great. But we thought, why don't we have the very first drone TV game show? So we have a drone TV game show. What is it called, Sarah? That Drone Challenge. That Drone Challenge. And what happens in that drone challenge is this. We get a group of people. We don't know how many, between 20 and 100 people. They all come in. They grab a ticket. We call out a number. If we call your lucky number, you come on up and you are invited to take the drone challenge that drone challenge now we have an expert on each show and the expert creates different challenges it could be something like an obstacle course it could be an fpv race it could be a photography challenge and what happens is the expert sets up the challenge he shows us how to do the challenge so that we learn as an audience and we learn as a viewer how to do the challenge and then the participant gets to try to win a drone. That's right. So whoever's number we call out watches the course and then they take the challenge to see if they can complete it and if they're deemed to pass, they win a drone. And if they don't win a drone, they go home. Win a drone or go home. Now, that's the first challenge. The second challenge is going to be a little bit more intensive. So at this point, you have a choice. What's your choice? Right. So if you've been lucky enough to win a drone on the first challenge, you can basically bet whether or not you can pass the second course. And in that one, you would win a second drone. So you basically say, yeah, I'm going to risk my first drone. And if I fail, I'm going to go home with nothing. Or I'm going to get two drones. Right. And the drones get progressively larger. You might start off with a smaller drone like a Hubson or an FPV racer and then go up to maybe a Phantom. Now, if you pass two challenges, now, remember, you might be an expert at different drone things. We might actually have a photography class where you have to kind of go all the way around something, maybe give us a really nice orbit or take pictures. Or we might give you a broken drone and say, guess what? One of the ESC motors is busted. What are you going to do? Here's the tools. Fix it. We don't know what the challenge is going to be because that's going to really depend on who the expert is. For example, the Roswell flight team might come in as our expert, and they might come up with some interesting challenges. And all these things take place in a giant warehouse so that we're FAA compliant, we're not flying outside, we're not doing anything like that. We're all in a controlled environment. We're going to make provisions for it to be safe and we're going to travel around with the show. So it's going to be really great. You missed the next bit. The next bit, Sarah, what is it? Well, round three, if you win your second drone, are you going to take the drones or are you going to go home? Right. And the, th and the third challenge, you can win up to a DJI Inspire 1. And so that would mean you could win maybe a Racer drone, maybe a Phantom 3 and an Inspire and take all those drones home if you win or you go home. Yeah, home empty handed. Home alone. Home all by yourself. <laughs> and we call up the next number. So the audience, yeah, there's your friends, but they all want to get up there. They all want us to call the next ticket. So there's going to be a little bit of pressure. And if you've ever flown in front of a group of people like the Roswell flight team has, you know, sometimes you can fly really great at home and you can fly really great on your home AMA field and everything looks great and then you get in front of like 20 people and you can't figure out how to turn the drone around. I mean, that's happened to me. Well, not like the Roswell flight test crew. No, the Roswell flight test crew, they, they could do it. I'm sure that they could take the challenge and pass it. But the, the idea is you win a drone or you go home. And so the show is going to be a lot of fun. It's got a lot of interesting sponsors, a lot of different type of drones. It's not always an Inspire. Sometimes it's a different drone. There'll be a lot of different manufacturers represented and a lot of different people. You could get some people that we call up that's like, you know, Trent Seagard. He's an expert drone pilot. Or we get someone that's like, hey, guess what? That's my first time flying a drone. <laughs> What do you think, guys? It sounds exciting. I was going to say, I think I'd rather be a contestant than a... Uh, well, yeah, than a contestant with an Inspire. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could I do with an Inspire or a Solo or a, There's any number of nice drones that I could probably do with, but that sounds like a fantastic idea. So this is going to be a road show. You're going to be taking it to a different place every week, every That's month. Cool. How's that going to work out? We are in the middle of finalizing the schedule. Our first event's going to be in Southern California. And tell them, David, what they need to do. If you want to be in this and you're going to be in the Southern California area sometime this summer, head on over to thatdronechallenge.com and just put your email address in and put your phone number in there. Don't just put your email in because if we select you to come on the show and we're just emailing you and it's going to spam, it's not going to work. We're going to have two things, an email address 
and your phone number. We're not going to sell your number. We're not going to sell your email. We just want to be able to get in touch with you that sometime in the summer around the Los Angeles area, we're going to give you the address to this secret warehouse and we're going to invite you to take that drone challenge. This is suddenly starting to sound a little bit like Fight Club. <laughs> the first rule of that drone it. challenge is you don't talk about that drone challenge. No, that drone challenge, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we are going to expand it when we have a, enough winners. We'll have a winner's contest. And we'll even have an expert challenge where a, another expert comes in and challenges maybe two of you guys to different duels and different challenges. And they might even sometimes do things for charity. We might donate them to different things like that. So it's a really great show. It's a cool concept. We've been working on it for a long time. And I think that uh, the drone community is gonna love it because every time we give a drone away, everyone goes crazy and they're so happy. Because I mean, I know besides seeing Sarah's face every day, one of the greatest things for me is when a package arrives and it's a new drone. I'm sure you know the feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing quite like seeing that oversized box on the porch. Well, this sounds great, guys. I mean, obviously, we don't I mean, we are finding out about this just right now. But boy, I sure hope we can arrange to be there for your, your initial taping or one of the follow on ones. And we'd, we'd love to be involved. I, on, on behalf of contestants everywhere, I'm going to beg you, please, please, please don't let Tekkenstein do an obstacle course. He <laughs> seems to delight in torturing people with obstacle courses, but uh, I mean, you wouldn't have to give away as many drones that day. <laughs> be a lot more economical that way. It's perfect. You know, I, I'm, I'm envisioning, you know, taking something like, you know, something like this racer drone and then having you guys create maybe the Death Star and have to go through the Death Star and maybe at the end we have to release the bomb or something like that. I mean, it's a Star Wars reference. I think it would be really cool if we recreated the Death Star and actually had to fly through it with an FPV camera and with all the Star Wars sound effects. I think that would work really well for me. I vote for that. And, it, of course, it ties in perfectly with The Force Awakening this December. Yeah. So, hey, I think, I think it sounds like a win-win scenario. Lucasfilm is going to be calling you guys by the time you're ready to go. We're just going to have a lot of fun. It's a great chance for people to come together, learn a lot of different things, show off their drone skills, and get exposure, and also show everyone out there in the world that drones are good. It's like, look, we're just having a lot of fun. We're showing the different ways that they can be done. We might have different search and rescue things. We might have you know, things where we have to like take something to somebody, maybe a GPS locator show how different things work and it's a, it's another way that we can forward the message that drones are good so we're just happy that people are going to get involved with it and it's just a lot of fun i mean to host something like that and, and when we gave away that phantom three to the little kid it was so nice to like see how happy he was and i was like how can i like give people drones this sound, or when randy scott slavin was giving away all those drones i was like i want to do that that looks really cool here's an s1000 have a good day <laughs> that sounds great <laughs> we're excited to hear when this comes together so please keep us in the loop We'll see if we can make it down. Yeah, you can come on as an expert anytime you want. Just think of some really uh, maniacal uh, challenges. Well, there you have it. We'll be looking for you at the very first That Drone Challenge in California later this summer. Subscribe to keep up with all the latest. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe.